ladies and gentlemen because I actually do have some men subbed on my channel. I've been tagged into a 13 question tag by Glam Nerd Nails. Thank you for not doing um, this out of the making me game. Too. I'm excited to do it. Um, I'm actually a little nervous to do it uh, too at, um, all at the same time because if anyone reads any of my profiles from either my Facebook, from here, or my website, or anything, I make sure I tell everybody that I'm bipolar. It's, I don't know what I have been diagnosed with having a bipolar disorder and stuff like that or whatnot or whatever. So these questions are kind of interesting, and I hope you're not setting me up um, to make people laugh at me more because you guys say I'm crazy and I'm funny and... I hope you guys mean that in a very good way. <laughs> okay, so here it goes. Question number one. What do I order from Starbucks? Okay, I want to first start off by saying that, um, again, I live in Detroit, Michigan. Yes, Detroit, Michigan has Starbucks. <laughs> but, um, I kind of like live in the hood and... We don't have Starbucks in the hood, so I don't drink from Starbucks. <laughs> I actually have Starbucks before, and when I did um, have it, um, I think it was called uh, Caramel Frappuccino or something like that. I like I know it was, um, um, hot cocoa. My cocoa drinker, cocoa with mini marshmallows. Ugh. Love it. Okay, so the next question. What's the one thing in my closet that I can't live without? And I'm going to have to say um, camis. I love wearing camis. You know, the little t-shirt thingy, stringy things. I love those. And I would not survive without those, seriously. And as for um, clothes, clothes, I am not a clothes person whatsoever. When I'm actually in my house, indoors, I'm more uh, a, nude, a nudist person. <laughs> I really walk around my house naked or in my underwear and bra, and that's the way I am. And clothes have never been a factor, a main, main factor to me. And um, part of my disorder... Uh, is spending a, a lot of time indoors. Um, I'm an anti-social person, really, when it comes to socializing with me out in, in the public. I really don't do that. So I have some a few nice, nice outfits that I have, and I only wear those to, like, appointments, um, something like that. And um, I have certain clothes that I wear to a grocery store or something like that, but nothing is super fabulous or anything like that. I am a plain Jane, okay? I'm very, very plain when it comes to clothes. Now, uh, when it comes to my closet, ask me about my purses or my shoes. Now, that's something different. My clothes is like nothing. I shop at Rainbows and stuff like that, the cheap stores. And, but when it comes to my feet and my bags now, that's something it's, else. Um, my favorite purse, big coach, uh, barrel bag that I have. I, I have a thing for coach. So my favorite things in my closet for like accessories would be my coach gym shoes and my Jordan gym shoes and probably my bag. See what I'm saying? I just went all the way out there. Y'all wasn't even asking for that. But moving right along. Number three. What's one thing people don't know about me? Okay. People don't know that, know that I'm really not social. And people don't know that the only friends that I have is my computer and my man. And, um... People don't know that uh, my only friends is you guys. <laughs> so sad. So sad. But in like, I don't have a girlfriend that can come pick me up and say, come on girl, let's go out or let's go shopping together 
or something like that. I don't have real life friends. I just have you guys. I hope one of you guys live in Michigan, like in Detroit or River Ridge or Ecross or in the Southwest area, Southwest Detroit area in general, you know, so I could have a friend. We can meet up and go do some nail shopping, go drunken or something. All right, so number five, one food that I can't live without. One food that I can't live without is potatoes. I love potatoes. Potatoes and Y'all said one food. Well, skip that. I'm breaking this question. I have to put two down there. I absolutely, absolutely cannot live without potatoes and bacon. Mmm. Okay. Number six. What's the phrase that I live by or say? Well, my phrase is think big and always stay thinking that's real important to use that brain and on the flip side of that on the negative side to that my favorite phrase is what the fuck ever bitch that's my next one so um that's that and number seven is what do i like about youtube i like the fact that i can just be me and post my videos and show everyone that um I do have more talents than just being um I can share and just be friends with people and be cool because I am a very nice and down to earth person and um I just want people to respect my talents and I love to respect other people's talents also. So, um, what I don't like about YouTube, what I don't like about YouTube is, um, just some of the nasty characters. I mean, I believe everyone can have some nastiness in them, but you have to be provoked for that nastiness to come out. Where in other people that I've ran across, they're just pure nasty for no reason at all. I'm not understanding it. Like the uh, like situation, a like up and a like down. Like me, I don't like people's videos down. If I don't like your video, I just won't go back and see your video. If I like your video, I'll like it up, but I'll never like it down because that's just not what type of person I am, you know. And the need for people to comment negative nasty comments you know i haven't had that experience yet but just note to anyone that's watching my video if you do that to me i will go hard on you i will i will go hard you will see another part of music you know um it's such a shame that you know people bring out the ugliness in you but i'm just want to beg you guys ahead of time don't do that to me you know, because I really won't do it to you, you know, so I really feel strongly about that, I, I just don't like that at all, and I just want to say that the community that I've connected myself with, with you girls on YouTube, with the nails or whatnot, you guys are so sweet, you're so nice, you're supportive, you know, and I know that my designs are not all of that. I know that because I'm amateur or whatnot or whatever. But you guys still give me thumbs upies. And you say you like my work. Um, I guess um, it makes me feel so good. You know. And um, I just want to let you guys know that. that uh, I, get, I actually smile. I really do. I actually smile when I get thumbs up. I frown when I get thumbs down. Um. I really, really love it that you girls reach out and try to communicate with me by leaving comments and stuff like that. And I'm moving right along. Number eight, number one, listen to iTunes. <laughs> I don't use iTunes. Um, I don't use when I listen to music, I listen to my Pandora's music. And, you know, you make your own stations according to the artists that you like. But right now, what I'm um, into, you can check it out in one of my playlists called Yup, Y-U-P, is Jill Scott, Only You. Beautiful. That's you guys, so check it out. And so, that's what my number one song right now. Beautiful. Please check it out. It's and, um, what type of style? Do I consider myself as having? Well, I don't have a style. I have a lot of styles. Um, 
I am not, I'm not one of those type of people that are confined to inside of a box. I am not inside of a box. I am everywhere. So to describe me and to describe my style, I would have to say I am very audacious and so is my style. And my favorite number. My favorite number is money. And whatever number that is. That's my favorite number. Um, two hobbies. Mm, I've only picked two. Okay, well, hobbies. Alright, I like to write a lot. I write a lot. I write a lot. I write poems, I write stories, I write songs. I write to myself. Yes, I write to myself. I write to myself, y'all. Okay. Um, so, if you guys have a problem with me writing to myself, just give me my uh, give me your address. I write to you. All right. Um, two pet peeves. <laughs> two pet peeves. Let me think about this for one second, even though I should have thought about it off camera, and I actually did, and I had an answer, and now that I'm to the question again, I can't answer it, so let me think for a second. What do I not like? Like, a pet peeve is like something that irks you, right? Alright, well. I don't like people that, um... Never stop to smell the roses. That's a pet peeve. And, um, I can't stand a fake ass bitch. And did that two lesbian mamas, did she answer like that? Did you, girl? Well, if that was your answer, I'm feeling you, and that's my answer also. And, um,. I would say, other than that, a man with bad hygiene. Oof. All right. My guilty pleasure is fat blunts. And, um, that's my guilty pleasure. All right, so who I want to tag is, um, and I also put it in the description bar, um, once I up. Amy313, I'm tagging you, girl, and I want to tag someone that I haven't even really seen on YouTube, even though I know she's here, um, I don't know if she's been what's up with her or whatever but I'm curious about her so just in case she ever sees one of my videos I'm gonna tag her right now and that's Lolo Licious 69 tattoo girl I know you've been tagged but I like to hear your tag so I'm gonna re-tag you tattoo girl I'm re-tagging you and did you do your tag. I'm going to re-tag you. Shahira. Miss Shahira. And um, who else? I'm trying to go off names that uh, people, uh, videos that I watch like on a constant.